Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will do the performance testing of three compact flagship devices right now available. We have the Oppo Find X8, we also have the Xiaomi 15 and the Samsung Galaxy S25. Now these are three compact form factors, uh, the Oppo Find X8 being the largest of them and the S25 being the smallest of them. Xiaomi is in between them. So three compact flagships and they are also priced similarly um, uh, around the 50 to 70,000 price segment. Now which of these devices perform better in terms of higher CPU load and stress test? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now one of the things uh, people look at uh, when they buy uh, compact uh, form factor phones is how the thermal management is when brands are launching uh, phones with compact form factor it's a great challenge to have better thermal management because the smaller footprint of the device thermal management is of often a challenge for brands and a lot of compact phones do have heating issues so that's one area a lot of people look at if the phone uh, has very compact form factor it is actually uh, prone to heating issues and uh, it could have an impact while using even regular usage there could be heating so let's see how they uh, perform in terms of extreme load like CPU throttling test, the stress test, and to benchmark, the storage test, all these tests we'll do with these three compact uh, flagships. So we have the Oppo Find X8, Xiaomi 15, and the Samsung Galaxy S25. Let's figure out which is the better performing device out of the three. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the three devices with us. So let's just go to the about device on all the phones. So about phone, about device and here also let's just take about phone. So you can see here Find X8, uh, we have uh, ColorOS Dimensity 9400. This is ColorOS 15, Android 15. This is HyperOS 2.0, Xiaomi 15, Snapdragon 8 Elite and uh, you get uh, the HyperOS 2.0. This is Galaxy S25, once again uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite and uh, you get Android 15 and uh, One UI 7.0. So you can see here One UI 7.0. So let's just clear off all the background apps on these devices. So we just cleared off. So let's start the first uh, test uh, with, uh, uh, there you go. So the, let's start with uh, the CPU throttling test. So we have installed the CPU throttling app on uh, all these devices. So let's start the CPU throttling test. So uh, in this round, we'll uh, go with uh, a 20 uh, thread test, uh, which will uh, end at 15 minutes. So that's the test we are going to do. So both all the three devices are set to airplane mode and uh, all are in exactly same conditions uh, set. So we'll start the CPU throttling test. So before that, let's have a look at uh, the temperature. So 30 degrees uh, and here we have uh, 30 degrees once again, in fact slightly above 30 degrees. Here also you get uh, slightly below 30 degrees. So in fact you can say almost uh, 30 degrees uh, uh, the devices are. So all the devices have 100% battery right now. So let's start the CPU throttling test of all these devices. So let's uh, finish this test and then we'll see how much of throttling happens on each of these devices and which is the better performer here. So now we have completed uh, the uh, CPU throttling test and uh, you could see uh, the size of the phone is almost uh, in proportion to how badly it throttles. Now first uh, Oppo Find X8, this is the largest of the device uh, in terms of the form factor. Now here you can see here 80% uh, throttling, that's quite good I would say, uh, no major issues as such. Now second one is a slightly more compact form factor, the Xiaomi 15, throttled to 78% per, uh, of its max performance which is also in bad. 369 is the max value, 306 is the highest value here. So that's the throttling uh, both the devices and then uh, finally the Samsung S25, it throttled to the 52 percentage of its max performance so throttling is pretty bad on the xiaomi uh, or rather the samsung galaxy s25 because of the extreme form factor for you can see here from starting from the around the three or four minute mark itself it started uh, throttling heavily and it went up to 52 percentage so throttling is uh, pretty bad on uh, uh, the samsung galaxy s25 now you can also see the temperature after the test 38 degrees on uh, the oppo find x8 
uh, now this is slightly higher you can see not slightly in fact 40 uh, almost close to 45 degrees 44.6 degrees uh, the temperature and here you can see here it's also 39.3 degrees so temperature is highest on uh, the Xiaomi 15 after the throttling test and even the battery drain is also highest here we have 9 percentage battery drain here we have 7 percentage battery drain and this is the best in terms of battery drain only 3 percentage battery drain happen so that's the uh, test you can see here uh, so overall 80 percentage 78 percentage and uh, 52 percentage throttling happen so that's the throttling test now next let's go to the stress test so the next uh, test is the wildlife uh, uh, extreme uh, stress test so we have this uh, 20 loop test and then uh, it will uh, check uh, how good the stability of the device is so once again we have charged the device to 100 percentage so now it's 100 percentage on all the devices so let's uh, do this wildlife uh, extreme stress test uh, this is again a 20 loop test so uh, you can see here now let's start the test and let's see how much of stability it comes up uh, we'll also see how much temperature rights happens and also the battery drain after the test so let's start the test and once this is completed we'll see the scores So now we have completed the wildlife extreme or stress test and we'll see the results. So OPPO Find X8 6330 is the maximum value, lowest is 3702 and stability is 58.6 percentage. Now coming to Xiaomi 15, we have the best loop score as 6105, slightly lesser than OPPO and the lowest loop score is 4421, that's much higher than OPPO and the stability is 72.4 percentage. Now Samsung S25 6311 is the best loop score and lowest is 4239 uh, and stability is 67 percentage so in terms of stress test xiaomi 15 wins this um, because it has 72 percentage followed by samsung s25 and oppo find x8 at 58.6 let's also see the battery drain and uh, other values here so you can see here uh, performance monitoring battery uh, 100 to 91 percentage that's 9 percentage drop on the oppo find x8 here we have 100 to 89 percentage that's around 11 percentage drop and here s25 also we get 100 to 89 percentage that's 11 percentage drop now temperature you can see here maximum it was 40 degrees on the oppo find x8 thermals are really good now xiaomi it was definitely on the higher side 47 degrees uh, that's the maximum it went and here you can see here 44 degrees is the maximum on the S25. Now the, uh, the frame rate maximum is 43. Here we have 44 and uh, Samsung went up to 49 FPS. So that's the wildlife extreme stress test. So stability wise uh, Xiaomi did have an advantage. But battery drain and uh, the temperature rise definitely Xiaomi was on the higher side. So that's the uh, the uh, wildlife extreme uh, stress test. Next, let's uh, see the antidote benchmark uh, score. So here we have the antidote. So here you can see here once again Xiaomi has the upper hand here in terms of antidote score. Highest score uh, here 23 lakhs on uh, Oppo Find X8 versus 24 lakhs on Xiaomi and 19 lakhs on the Samsung Galaxy S25. So you can see here the GPU score, CPU score and uh, the memory and the UX score of these two, these three devices. So next uh, let's see the storage test. All of these devices have uh, uh, you can see here UFS uh, 4.1 4.0 so you can see here 2 lakh 35000 uh, on oppo find x8 2 lakh 60000 on uh, uh, xiaomi and 1 lakh 99000 on the uh, s25 but all of these are pretty good in terms of uh, uh, read write score but uh, again uh, the benchmark scores are slightly on the higher side on uh, xiaomi 50. now finally the geek bench test that's the final test we are going to do so let's see the results here so we already done the testing here 
So you can see here, once again Xiaomi has the upper hand in terms of raw benchmarks 2905 versus 2710 on the Phi Index 8 and 2405 on the S25. Even the multi core score is 7884, here we have 8757 and 8366 on the S25. So that was uh, the Geekbench test. So overall you can see here, all of these devices performed well. Yeah, throttling, uh, you could see Oppo Phi Index 8 did a uh, great job followed by Xiaomi it was pretty bad on the S25 now stability test uh, Xiaomi did uh, have an upper hand but then he, uh, heat generated was on the higher side now the, uh, the raw benchmark scores Xiaomi was the better option you can see here anti to scores storage test and even the Geekbench test Xiaomi did have an upper hand so that was the performance testing of these three devices so all of the compact form factor does have uh, slight throttling issues but then uh, they do manage the thermals quite well I would say and uh, uh, all these devices did a good job decent job i would say in terms of thermal management even though they are very small in terms of form factor so which of these devices did you like and which is uh, your pick among all the three do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day